All right. Yeah. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> I played against a really good Texas State team, as I said in the press conference before, and uh, their experience showed. You know, we had a chance to pull away with less, a little over two minutes to go, and uh, they made big shots at the big shots, and that's what uh, veteran teams do. Uh, uh, but the one thing we did going down the stretch, we made free throws. Uh, we, we took care of the basketball much better in the second half than we did in the first half, and I thought that enabled them to. Uh, to make the game as close as it was early on, uh, points off turnovers. And then I think we reversed that in the second half where we, we were able to score off some of their turnovers. Uh, uh, but, but again, it, it's, uh, I thought my guys had checked out in the first part of the game. We were night down 19 to 6, I think. And, uh, but that's first half and uh, uh, just kind of concerned about the slow start I was on that. Uh, but we did turn around. And I thought our defense was, uh, I thought our defense was really good. That enabled us to get back in the game and uh, had some big moments from a guy like Gabe Usaborn came off the bench and gave us a, a big lift. Uh, I thought Reggie starting out. I thought he was a little nervous, and so uh, you expect that with a freshman, your first start. Uh, but we had some guys come off and, uh, and give us some quality minutes. So again, good win, good team. Mike, you, you said your guys are down 19 to six, hadn't scored in I don't know, about six or seven minutes. Then Mason gets a steal, takes it down, gets three point play, and ignited a 17 0 run. And then when it was 53 51 in the second half, he kind of got you going again. How, how big was Mason making plays when you guys really needed them? I, I thought Mason was big. I thought, you know, he, uh, early on, I thought he, they were selling, we were selling for just shots way out there, much to the other night where we just settled for three points. Shots, but I thought we started attacking the basket, and that made a big difference. The game sped up, and and of course he had the hot hand. So, uh, but he showed another part of his game, going off the dribble, whether he get to the basket, pull up, or find somebody else, get to the free throw line. Uh, you got to have somebody step up and make plays, and that's that's kind of what's been missing. You know, it's it, it's going to be a game of runs. We, we know that, and then there are going to be opportunities for where you got to have guys make plays, and so. Uh, again, you look at some of the plays that Gabe made. They were big. Uh, Mason made some big ones for us. And then, of course, going on a stretch, Dan, Isaiah, uh, making free throws. I thought it was big. Just with Mason, do you recall him at high school? They talked about him being like 265 pounds when he was a high school senior. I, mean, did, did you I heard he was him? a big boy. I heard that he was a big boy. And so, and much the credit to him that, you know, uh, between the prep school year and, uh, and the junior college year, I think he, uh, uh, he got his body right. And, uh, and I think since then he's worked to, uh, to keep the weight off of him. Uh, and that's has it helped him, uh, I think, becoming the player that he is right now. So, uh, again, credit to him. Mike, it was kind of a weird game that Isaiah couldn't seem to buy a basket until he hit one with about three something left. And, and, and uh, Jalen's been so good on assist turnovers. He actually had one assist and two turnovers. How, how weird was that? And uh, what did you guys do to, to overcome those kind of odd oddities? Well, I think we had some other guys step up, Bob. You know, when, when, you know, when you're not shooting the ball well, or let's say we, uh, I thought when the game was up and down, you know, Jalen got in foul trouble in the first half. That's why he set quite a bit. So to me, it was the other guys that were out there, Desi, uh, uh, Keyshawn Embry. And those guys got out there. Even you saw a sighting of Jordan Phillips out there. But I thought those guys did a good job of just holding command uh, until he got back. Uh, but you know, they're a good defensive team. And there was some opportunities where we caught we didn't finish uh, in terms of assists for Jalen. Uh, but Isaiah uh, is just one of those games where he didn't, didn't shoot it well. But what do you bring to the table? He got to the free throw line, and I think he was – he was pretty good. He was seven for eight. So how do you affect the team when that takes place? And that tells you what kind of team you are. When you don't have those things going, but yet you find a way to win against, a, uh, I think, a really good team. They got a chance to win their league. They're a really good basketball team. Casper said he thought that their bad free throw shooting, that maybe all defense had some effect on that, that they got tired. Did you see any of that at all? Well, you know, I thought we got tired, and they probably did get tired. I, you know, I, don't, I don't know. I know they're a very good free throw shooting team. And uh, and you look at the, the percentages, even for us, we, we uh, you know the percentage, percentage says we're not a good free throw shooting team. But I think in the last, uh, you think two or three games that free throws has been the difference in the game for us, making free throws tonight. You go 28 for 40. The thing I like about it, we shot nine free throws the last game. We shoot 40, 
uh, tonight. Why such a big difference? I think you know, we played inside out. We started inside and kept attacking, attacking, and got to the free throw lines, and, uh, and we made shots. Mikey, you know, Gabe did a lot of good things with assists and rebounds and scoring some, but he, I think he took two charges, if my count was right. I think it gives him nine for the year. That's a lot, you know, for 11 games. What, what do you think about his charge-taking ability and, and what a plus that is because it draws a foul, it's a turnover, you know, all those things? It's big, Bob, because I think it, the momentum plays. You know, not only, you know, the, the guy, the individual gets a foul, but it's a turnover as well, and we get an opportunity to get the basketball, and it stops momentum. They have momentum going. And he stood in there, and uh, it just tells you about him. He gave his sacrifice his body for the team. And that just, I think it injects energy in our basketball team when a guy does that. And hopefully we're going to have continue to have more guys that do that. Uh, you know, that's, I mean, your defense was working. Uh, pressure defense, it made them drive in there. And we had somebody help side defense, boom. And they took a charge. I was watching the team the other night. I think they ended up having, like, 12 charges. I think it was Texas Tech. They do a good job of help side. So good teams, when you get teams out of control, you got to have people willing to step over there and uh, and take charges. Like uh, Gabe had three or four assists maybe just to Daniel tonight. Is that something you've seen coming on in practice from him also? Well, he, he, he's – I think Gabe's got a pretty good grasp of, of basketball. And uh, now the key is going out and doing it each and every night. Uh, and tonight, you know, he did a good job of – uh, seeing that Dan was sealing and Dan did a good job of going and getting it. You know, it's amazing when you start you start feeding the big guy, you know, uh, that he just turns it to another level. He starts really playing hard on both ends, and we saw that with Dan. He gets, uh, gets a double-double, and uh, that, that's just smart basketball playing. When you got guys out there can recognize he had a size advantage, and uh, he just had to, to lift guys off the other side because they were just packing in there on him. And he did a good job of flashing and and the timing of getting the ball to the right player at the right time. You know, you know, Mike, this team hadn't lost in like a month or something, and you guys are down by 13. You've had a couple losses here. Just how good was it to come back against you know, a pretty good team and, and, and get a win when it had been kind of a rough stretch for you? i got a feel for what, what the makeup of this team. And, and one thing about these guys in and, and basketball, you, you have a quick turnaround. You know, unlike in football, you got a whole week to kind of – sit there and you feel it and all that stuff, but it was a quick turnaround for our guys and another opportunity to play against another team that's coming here, had nothing to lose in everything to gain. So uh, I think it says a lot about our guys uh, just kind of rallying and it wasn't, it wasn't a thing of beauty, uh, but you know, uh, you want the, the win column and that's what they got back in the win column. They get a chance to go home and uh, have a happy Christmas and uh, then they get a chance to come back and, and we really go to work because, again, we got a window of almost a week and a half, two weeks, whatever it is, to, uh, to learn from all the games we've played and, and just really kind of get better, get, get better on execution. I think our defense is, uh, I think our defense is good. It's really good at times. Uh, and, and continue to, to develop that bench, we've got to continue that because I think that's going to be big for us uh, as we move on in the next games. How nice is it to get a win going into Christmas? And, you know, these young guys, they're probably kind of homesick, maybe want to get moms home cooking, whatever. How good is just, you know, to win and, and these young guys get, get a little time at home and stuff? That's too? good. That's good. I've been known to be a Scrooge over the years. You know, they get maybe one or two two days, but they get a chance to go home and, and they got to be back here. Uh, we got to practice at 2 o'clock on, uh, on, uh, on the 26th. So they get a chance to go home today. Uh, uh, and, and you know what? It, it's been a grind for some of these guys. You, you think about these guys. These guys are 18, 19, just coming out of high school. And just within the last week, they had three games. I mean, and then you got, you're talking about studying and all that stuff. This is new territory for these guys. And so now, hmm, let's say a guy like Isaiah, maybe it's time for him to get his body some rest. J5, Jalen Harris, he sat out a whole year. You know, uh, it's a dude, new way of playing. So they get a chance to, Daniel, you know, get some rest. And then come back and uh, hopefully recharge and ready to get at the, and get get ready for Austin P. Yeah, we, we saw Daryl was here. How, did you get to talk to him much? As, if so, how, how good was it to have Daryl back? It was good, good, good. I, you know, I heard him say his name over the speaker, and people gave him a, 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 a pretty good ovation. And uh, you know, it's it's one of our own, and he got a chance to come and and see his guys and see the. Uh, 
see the continuance of you know what he poured in and, and these guys playing hard. All these guys are like his brothers, so uh, it was good to have him, and uh, it seemed like he's having a, a pretty good career thus far. You know, he's a two-way player with the Dallas Mavericks, and I just saw him on TV last night playing in in, uh, in Vegas. Uh, they have a showcase, uh, uh, G League showcase, and he played last night. And so for him to to take time out to come, I think that says a lot about Daryl, and says a lot about you know. Razorback basketball family. I mean, they, they come and they support each other, and uh, it, it was good to see him. With, with Justice, does, does he does he join you guys um, after you come back from Christmas, or is it well, like what's the plan with him? I know he's going to not play this year, or not expected to, but what what's the situation with him? I, I think that was going to be the plan. I hadn't seen, uh, uh, I hadn't talked to uh, people in terms of uh, you got to be enrolled in school and and everything's got to. <sighs> Uh, Got to be in accordance. So I, I don't know if everything's lined up right now. So uh, I'll find that out hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, I know it came up over the over the last week, the last game we had, and, and was trying to get everything situated. So uh, I don't know if he got it situated or not. We'll do our media on the, the 27th.